So, today's job, again, part of the service, I'm going to remove and change the fuel filter. This is a fuel filter here, <coughs> and the car uh, looks like there is a connector here and a connector there. That's like a bolt. So, I'm going to take these two bolts off, take these two off, and remove the filter housing. I'm not sure if I'm ever need to take the the air box out to give me some room. Uh, another thing I'll do is probably disconnect the battery just to be on the on the safe side. So we'll see how we go with that. Difficulty to turn and hold in at the same time. Just checking the distance between there and there, which is probably about 10 mil. So. Coming back, but can I get it over that? Look, that says. <coughs> so there's that hose off there. You can see it's just a push in there. I'm going to take this off. Now I understand there's a connection at the bottom of this, an electrical connection here, so I'll just take them off now, I think. Take that big clip off here, so I'm not 100% sure of that. So I'll remove this clip. It's just a clip that's holding that in. So this is me turned that upside down, so that obviously sits inside here uh, with that clip <coughs> just holding it in place. So it should be a matter of taking these two bolts out and lifting the filter completely out to change it. Now, technically I should be able to lift that out there. There's my electrical connection here. Just can't figure that out quite yet. And I think there's one at the bottom. So, there's a, an electrical connection at the bottom of that. the filter out so this 
just a push fit connection that's in there. So this is the filter out here. Um, <coughs> I've taken off this bottom part just to let a bit of air in and that's the amount of diesel I got out there to see if it's spilling everywhere. So if you just hold it upside down, disconnect the last part, it generally comes out the two the two inputs in there. So we'll take it into the, the wee shed and we'll get the new filter fitted. So let's see how we get that off. Um, this is a new part which is a, a <coughs> LR07261, so it's a genuine Land Rover a fuel filter. Um, could be a bit extra for that, so. So it certainly looks the same. Um, remove steel drain valve from old element prior to disposal. washer. I'm assuming that we're going to need that. Now to remove this, so just put that out there. I think it's going to come off my hand for some reason right now. So I'll just get some. This here, I'm expecting some drips to come out of it. So that just screws off and pulls out. Uh, and that looks like the, the O ring. And we've got a, a new O ring that comes in its place with the filter. So we'll leave that there, we'll put the old one over there. Just get this wee tub ready just in case there's any fluid comes out of it, so that's a new seal. Thought it would be. Don't expect it to be slack right enough. So. Oh, there you go. Looks like it's just a. Uh, based on the threads, there it just looks like it's a, a, a bayonet type fitting. Drained the whole oil out of it. Here's the inside of the filter, I'm just trying to keep that clean. That's the old one, that's the new one, so I'm just going to fit that. I don't think it goes on. There looks like a couple of wee keyways there. That wee key there fits into that slot, I would imagine. There you go, that's it in. And I'll put that. I noticed there's a Mark on that. I don't think there's a mark on this. Check that again. There's another oil seals in there. So I'll just give that a B. Put that in there. 
18. People's really annoying, but I suppose it's a necessity. So it wasn't really that tight. find out when it leaks so that's the new filter on now for the new o-ring which essentially is going to go on here so it's essentially going to go on there which is a I think it's just a sensor of some kind I need to check if there was a, a hose there that I've pulled off. So I'm just basically hand tightening that. I'm not going to tighten it up. So I'm going to check if there's a hose right there. Give that a wee nip up there. Just put that on there. Yeah. And back there. And in essence, I think that's the felt changed. I just want to make sure it's clean because I want to see any leaks that's going to happen. Okay, let's go stick it on the camera. Okay, so definitely not always enough. So that's going to go through there. Okay, so that's going to go there. Come on, we bolts on that. I'll just leave them slack the now to let me get a bit of a wiggling about with this so it just looks like a rubber seal now key there. Yeah, see there's a wee tiny key there so I'm not sure if you can see that <coughs> But in this bit here, there's a tiny um, keyway just about there, and if you look on that rubber mount, there's one just about here as well. So you two obviously fit into each other, so I just need to make sure they're aligned.
connector connected back in. That's that there. Just open these hoses. That says back in business. Yep, that's fair enough. And that seems to be it. So I need to be looking for any leaks from here. Uh, here, here, obviously that pipe there, you may not be able to see that, I'll just my pipe and I'll be able to check down the bottom to see. So, I need to check now, we've got it back together, just fairly straightforward, any leaks from this cut one here, that join there of slacking, I think I probably didn't need to even touch that, just slacken that, allow that to pivot and just check where we've put that pin back in again there's no drips coming round about there so we'll go and look at the bleeding or priming procedure and we'll go through that okay let's start it see how it goes hmm start it first time <laughs> 